YouTube, what up? This is your guy, Terrence Beasley, owner and founder of Rise Sports Brand. Man, I'm starting this vlogging journey, and I think this is going to be a very, very, very interesting vlog. Um, I think I'm really going to get um, a lot of comments um, on things I could probably do better. I would love the comments on things I could do better, things that can help me out through my journey. Um, I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there that are going through this same exact thing so guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna vlog it i'm gonna put it on video i'm gonna let everybody see uh the different things that i go through on a daily basis um like right now i am on a uh where am i at i'm at a lodge in the gulf breeze florida uh my mother owns her own cleaning business she does um what is this she does kind of residential beach house cleanings, um, kind of like your Airbnb cleanings. Uh, she does those and I help her every now and then when I can. I have a full-time job on, um, and I'm doing my Rise brand on the side. And it's really not on the side, I'm doing that full-time as well. Because as soon as I leave from here, I'm going to dive head first into my job, into my business. So um, you guys stay tuned. I'm ready to take this journey, and I'm ready for you guys to follow me, man. A day in the life of an entrepreneur, T. Beasley. Let's get ready. And I'm here, getting ready to clean. Y'all see we got the water behind me. But getting ready to knock these rooms out. Pretty nice big building. So this is just a part of the stuff that I do. Everything that I do, I do it with a, with a certain kind of quality, certain kind of excellence. Get these lights on in here. Like this is a this is a side gig that I do that I really take pride in, that I really take a lot of joy in because it, it gives me another look, it gives me another insight on what customer service is really about and what I do and the effect that I have on people. Because when I clean, I mean, I clean with a certain excellence. So when people come in and sleep in these rooms or they come in and rent this place out, they understand that people of excellence just came out of here from cleaning. So it smells good, it looks good. Um, we, do a lot of, we do a lot of things that require a lot of attention. So the bathrooms are, are spotless, kitchens are spotless, floors are clean, mops, swept. So we do take a lot of pride in the things that we do. So just understand that from me to you, if you're doing anything that you're servicing people, put your all into it. Put your all into it because they can they can they can sense that. Yeah, you don't really have interaction with the customer, but they can feel that somebody put time and energy into things that you do. So man, you guys watch what you do when you're servicing people. Don't just half ass it. Watch what you do because people can feel that same energy that you're putting into you doing things for them. They can feel that once they get it. Yo, so just got done cleaning. Um, little side gig. Just got finished doing that. Now I'm on my way home. Uh, I'm tired as crap. Just got finished doing my full time job and then when it helped out cleaning over there, now I'm going home to work on rides. Um, I do understand that it takes unlimited amount of effort to build a brand and to believe in what you're building. So I feel like a lot of people have brands. Like we, I see brands pop up all the time where I'm from. I see them come up all the time. And there's, some of them are great ideas, but I think that they don't understand how much time goes into what you're doing. Like, I'm riding in the car listening to YouTube videos. Um, a big a big influence of mine just recently is Ben Francis, the founder of Gymshark, or one of the founders of Gymshark. Um, started in the UK. Um, in 10 years, he's a billion dollar company. So he was the fastest, the fastest growing fitness company in the UK. So I've been watching videos on him, Gary V. Man, it's a lot of people out here that are giving you jewels and setting you up to be successful. All you gotta do is just do it. All you gotta do is do it. 
I haven't I haven't made it to the point to where I'm on a consistent schedule as far as waking up at certain times and doing all that. So my job starts at 2 a.m. So I damn near get off work. Uh, I don't go to sleep. I own another business. I do uh, basketball training. I do basketball training from little kids all the way up to professional players. So sleep is something that I cherish um, when I have time to. I definitely try to take time out to sleep when I can, but I just feel like I'm at the stage in my life and I'm at the, my, my business is at the stage in its life to where sleep is something that I don't really can't say have the luxury to do but I don't really want to do because I feel like if I'm asleep at a certain time I could be working at that time so these are just things that go through my mind and man I really hope this stuff is helping you helping you guys that are watching this um just give you an insight on the certain the certain things that go into being an entrepreneur having a person owning own your own business um just different things man it's, it's it's a lot it's definitely a lot that uh us as entrepreneurs have to go through the ups the downs the wins the losses um it's just this is a lot it's definitely a lot but stay tuned man i got more to come back back to the crib from my high school kids workouts uh so just a outlook on how my day went i'm just getting home oh, boom, stuff on my door. but yeah man i'm just getting home uh from my workouts with my kids um now i'm about to go in the house and start helping base study so we finna get to it. The day has not stopped yet. I will show y'all how my house looks this dirty. Now that I'm finished for the night, it is 12 o'clock. I'm about to take a shower, get in the bed for like, not even get in the bed, not even really sleep, but I fell asleep earlier today. So I'm about to get in the shower, go back out here, get some work done on while my lady sleeps. And that's gonna be it for today. So, I'm it on this, y'all. See y'all for day 